Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do uh, IP addresses and there are a lot of cool things you can do uh, with getting an, uh, IP addresses from a site. Uh, there are cool things like uh, being able to see who's on a site and to see their IP speeds and uh, the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in Linux. And Linux is that software that you've been hearing about and I'm going to show you how to use a Linux and to grab IP addresses from a site. Hey, be sure to uh, subscribe to my Twitter and uh, I, will, uh, I will show you how to use Linux here. So first of all, I'm going to go to my VMware. Got it right over here. VMware has uh, the Linux on it. And here you've got a list of Linuxes I have installed. So I'm just going to pick this one and uh, start it up. By the way, VMware is uh, this uh, thing called virtualization. And uh, normally it's pretty expensive, but there are ways that uh, you can get it for uh, really cheap. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. So boot up the Linux here. Booting up the Linux. Oh, there. No. No. Okay, no, no, huh, huh, uh, damn, how do I play this again? Okay, I'm back, uh, and I've got the Linux all booted up, and uh, Linux has a lot more security than the PC does, so uh, I'm actually going to have to get a, a, a username and password to get in here. So this is going to take a little bit, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So. Okay, so I'm going to use eBay's username, and then it wants a password, and so I'm going to put in the password for eBay. Okay, so now we're all inside the Linux now. Uh, one thing you got to make sure is uh, you got to be connected to the internet to uh, grab IP addresses from sites. Uh, I see that my connection is blue here. I know that blue means that I'm connected. So that shows a lot of things about the, uh, uh, about the connection, such as a uh, track system. So one thing to remember uh, as well, uh, you would normally be using CMD to get uh, IP addresses in Windows, uh, but uh, CMD is owned by Microsoft, and uh, Microsoft hasn't uh, released CMD for Linux yet, so you have to use something a little bit similar. Uh, so we're going to get into the, uh, the place to get the IP addresses, and first you go to the Start menu, and then... Um, No. Um, performance monitor. No. No, wait, that's where it shows you your PC. Uh, okay, terminal. Terminal. Okay, so it looks a little like CMD, except there is uh, white on the background, but it, it functions almost exactly the same. 
Now, uh, what you would normally do is type in trace RT, uh, but again, you know, things are slightly different here. Uh, to get IP addresses from a site, you would type in trace R O U T E, and then just the same as before, type in the HTTP colon backslash backslash google.com and then hit return. Oh, oh, okay, so Google has probably implemented new security here, uh, you know, because word has been getting out uh, about this, this hack. Uh, but I think we can get around it. Um, one thing that uh, you may not think of, but, uh, but I have here, is uh, you can try the same thing, trace R-O-U-T-E, but instead of the HTTP colon backslash backslash, uh, you just type in google.com. Then just as before, hit return. And this is another one of the security features that uh, uh, Google has put in. Uh, you may have heard uh, uh, script kids uh, using uh, the hacks to, uh, to take down Google. Uh, uh, since then, they've put in multiple addresses. So whenever one of the script kid hacks takes down an IP, they switch to a different IP address. But it's just the same as before. Um, this shows an entire list of, of who's connected to Google and what their IP addresses are. You see them down here. Uh, there are some uh, users like this. Uh, this starts with uh, one zero, and I know that means IBM. Uh, uh, so they're pretty good at security. They're, they're actually uh, what's called spoofing, so uh, they don't show their name. Uh, but that is an IBM IP. Uh, and then it shows some other ones here uh, from, from Charter. Uh, shows two locations, Reno and UNAS, uh, Nevada. Uh, there's some uh, other IPs from uh, Canada. I'm um, seeing here. I'm not sure what LSAN means. Uh, this might mean re Rio, something like that. Uh, and there's actually some more uh, users who are spoofing their IP host. Uh, but the last one shows uh, LEL00. Uh, which I think is a, a DSL provider. So uh, the cool thing about this, though, is that uh, it shows you a lot more of the speed here. So like these normally under Windows would be, uh, you know, you would just see 34.1 on these two. But uh, this one shows 34.126. So you see it going down from 126 to 123, uh, and then it just you know, keeps on going down. So this guy has has some bad uh, connection speeds uh, going on right now. Um, I'm overall pretty good. I've got 30 right here, uh, but uh, there are some that are just you know fluctuating: 36, 34, 36, which is good. Sorry, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so. Uh, this is how you get IP addresses from, from Google. This will show everybody uh, if you uh, type it again, or say for a different one, such as you know uh, eBay itself, since I'm using the, uh, the eBay login. Like this shows a whole different uh, uh, bunch of people that are currently connected. And if you have more advanced hacking tools, you can actually grab the uh, the screenshots from uh, these people, but we're not going to be going into that uh, right now. And this actually shows uh, people that are slower than me. It's not even grabbing the IP address for that. But that is uh, that is it for this video. Uh, you know, thank you, and be sure to subscribe to my Twitter. And I will uh, see you on a different video. So bye.